Hey guys, what's up? This is the reviewer217, and right now I'm bringing you a review on the Transformers Fall of Cybertron Autobot Blaster. Now, this is really cool. I've been waiting for this guy really long, and I saw him at Walmart, and I was just so excited. My Walmart sucks, so sometimes they'll have good days. But anyway, here's the box. Um, pretty cool. It's wonder why they have that there. Cool picture of Steeljaw and of Blaster. We've got Blaster in there waiting, waiting to get out of his tomb. Don't worry, buddy. We got Steeljaw, and then we got his gun, which I know I can make the joke. There's his Blaster. Huh. Um, Steeljaw included. Really cool. If you look on the side, it says Autobot Blaster for Cybertron Autobot symbol S Series One Number Four. So I think this is the last one of Series One, but I'm not positive. Um, and then if you look on the side over here, you've got all of his cassette guys, and really cool. I think they all look really awesome. Got Autobot symbol, and then on the bottom here, it shows all the other cassettes that are available. I wish that Rewind and Ramhorn were in a, were in the both the same set, because those are the got only guys I really care about. I don't really care about Sunder. Egypt, but they're still cool though. Okay, and if you look on the back, it shows his tech specs, which if you want to read those, very cool. Um, cool picture of him. One thing I kind of find funny is that the ears are invisible. The ears are invisible. Pretty funny. And then here's his um, bio. Actually, a pretty interesting bio. Very interesting. Do you like it? But anyway, let's, let's, this guy is ready to be released from his team. So, let's, 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 let's take him out of there and see how awesome he is. guys uh sorry the lighting kind of changed today we're okay so we are going to be taking a look at blaster and honestly i really do like this guy i'm glad i did get him because ever since i saw him in the store this is the only one i've seen only one i've seen all the others got bought which so actually i was right i knew that i thought he was going to be very rare since he was the only one in the case or not rare but hard to find and he actually is but very cool. Now, first, let's look at his accessories. First off, he comes with his blaster. But, no, he comes with his little gun. And this is actually a really cool gun. I do like this. Very cool. It is very G1 looking. Next, he comes with Steeljaw. Which, Steeljaw, I probably like Laserbeak better. This guy, he has a lot of engineering in him. So the data disk really does not look good. If it was smooth like laser beak, it'd look good because it has a lot more detail and stuff. Cool Autobot thing. And he's hard to keep this way. So without... Oh, and it just doesn't look quite as good on the back. So let's transform him before he transforms himself. Okay, now that's not all you have to do to transform him. Uh, you also have to take the tail out. Come on. And then bring it around. Bring those around like so. And then here you have Steel Jaw. Wait a second. Here you have Steel Jaw. And actually, he's very cool looking. I, I do actually like this guy. Um, Kind of weird looking at the same time. Like, I don't know. But actually, I do like him. And he does come with the eye coloring that we never got with a. Um, uh, the, the laser beak, so that's cool, and I do like him. I think these are actually what they're counting as legend figures now for FOC. Okay, and here's Soundwave in his vehicle mode, and I actually really do like this guy. He's got some cool wheels, kind of this weird, this Autobot symbol or something, but it's very cool looking. I do like him. Got this, uh, 
cool silver right here. I, I do really like how this guy looks. And I'll compare him with Soundwave in vehicle mode, because I can bear, pair it on a robot mode in Soundwave for review. So yeah, very cool looking together. Do like that. Size comparisons. Um, here he is with Optimus. And he is actually very quite bigger. He's a lot bigger, so they're not going too cheapy with us. And then here he is with Mind Weep. I don't know why, don't ask me. But yeah, now Mind Weep is a lot bigger, but he's not as wide though. So, and I, uh, yeah, so, yeah. But anyways, now we're going to take a look at him in, uh, uh, the cassette, or data, DVD player mode. And, you know what? Uh, I already showed transformation. I do, I did already make a video for that. So let's just pop right to it. Okay, and here he is in um his uh, boombox mode. And I gotta say, I actually really do like how this guy looks. And he actually does look a little bit more Earth, um, cassette mode or something. He does actually have, well, I believe these are cassette buttons right here, or not cassette buttons, but like play button, record, or whatever. Very cool. And one thing they did with Soundwave, they also include with this guy, he's also, if you can see that, got some kind of cassette detail in there. So that's very cool. And one thing that's cool is with Soundwave, you could store his little thing up here, and it looked like a battery, which can't really do that with this. One thing that's cool that I figured out is that if you put it on the back, it kind of looks like an antenna, which I think that's really cool. I really do like that. But now, finally, let's skip to robot mode. Okay, and here he is in his robot mode. And I gotta say, I actually really do like this robot mode. I think that this is a great mode. And I really do like how this guy looks. Now, um, first off, you do know there is half his legs. It's this like, kind of weird cream color. Or, his legs are these weird cream color. And then the torso is this um, red color, which actually, yeah, I believe that's right. The Takara one will actually be silver, a nice looking silver, so that may look better. But it still is really cool looking. Now, um, quick look at the head sculpt. Let me try to... Very cool head sculpt. I don't know. I don't know how well you could see that, but he's kind of got this kind of like, or I don't know, something on him. He's got this cool Autobot symbol. And the light piping on this guy is awesome. Look at that light pipe. Oh, yeah. It looks like... Oh, my gosh. Look how cool that looks. But anyways, he is very, very cool. I do really like this guy. And you can have him hold his... Oh, this gun just... Oh, there it is. You can have him hold his gun. And it can actually be put on the shoulder, but uh, that's more of a sound wave thing. But very cool, though. I do like how this looks. This looks very cool. Now, um, gangsta. Now, size comparisons. Here he is. And, um, um, here he is with Grimlock. Oh, crap. I need to angle this. I need to put this a little bit. Here he is with Grimlock, and he is actually kind of bending. Grimlock is actually a smidge bigger. But not by that much. And, um, oh, let me get Optimus there. And here he is with Optimus, and he actually looks, um, this is about right, but as you can see, once again, he is actually a lot bigger. And for one comparison, this is with a, um, Dark of the Moon. Oh, wait, 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 no, this is like the first movie. Um, this is the first movie, Starscream. As you can see, he is actually taller. But still, though, I mean, they may still be smaller, but still pretty good. Now, this guy, I would totally recommend getting. He is just way awesome. He comes with this cool gun. He comes with Steeljaw, who actually, surprisingly, isn't too bad. Unfortunately, I hope Soundwave, I hope Ravage isn't too much like this guy. Um, well, c cassettes, I'm not really positive about the cassettes. Um, I do like Ramhorn. Um, but I don't know, we'll just have to see. But this guy, totally recommend getting him. And quick, if you see him in stores, don't hesitate. Because this guy, there's only one of them in a case and like 
for Grimlock. So, if you see this guy, get him because and late at because if you're unless you're really lucky, you're gonna show up the exact day when they restock again. Get this guy because you need him. But anyway, guys. Oh, whoops. That is my review. Hope you enjoy watching, and I will see you later. And subscribe. See ya.